Hey, what's up YouTube? Mama from Kix here, coming at you today with a very special unboxing video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. First of all, thank you to New Balance New Zealand for making this video possible because they're the one who provided me the shoes and they're always looking after me. So thanks so much, guys. Uh, and here we go. So this is it. The first time ever Hypebeast and New Balance have collaborated on a shoe and this is the result. This box is massive. I'm not just really small, it is a big box. Uh, there are two shoes in this box. Uh, and the packaging is next level. It's got a cool little handle on top. Uh, and so let's get into it um, and have a look at what we have inside. Pairs of 580s, and I'm sorry if the audio changes when I put the box in front of my mouth, but one pair is re-engineered, one pair is not. Uh, the pair on my right, the black pair is inspired by space uh, and is a re-engineered pair. And the other pair on the left is inspired by earth and is an original pair. Um, with the rev light midsole. So I'm going to pull these out, uh, the individual boxes, show you up close to the box and show you what the shoes look like inside. Let's check it out. Then we'll start off with the first pair. Uh, and excuse the glare, I'm going to try and get that angle right. Um, but this is the pair that's sort of based off the original 580. I mean, they're both original, but the one is re-engineered. Uh, and this is based on Earth, uh, inspired by uh, like overgrown and, and uninhabited like theme parks and different things and uh, so just sort of made for exploring uh, and so on the box you can see that sort of contour pattern which is really cool uh, and the Hype Beast and New Balance branding. These are actually legit hard to get out uh, but because it sort of forms like a vacuum sort of pack and so what I found is if you open up the size a little bit you can get them out. So I'm going to pop these out and have a look. Okay here we have it. So that little plastic bit just slides off the top. Uh, and inside we have some really nice looking shoes. Uh, I quite like the tissue paper actually. They, they've matched the tissue paper with the shoes. Um, both pairs come with two sets of laces. Uh, they have these, this pair in them, um, which is like a green rope lace. Uh, and the second pair is like another, the same color green actually, um, but it's like a waxed flat lace, which is quite cool. So let's have a quick look at the shoe. It's got quite like a rough, um, sort of hairy suede, which I really like, it's quite cool. Uh, I didn't actually get the wings and horns pair, so it could be similar to that, I think it was the wings and horns. Um, but I really like this tone of green, uh, and then the toe box is like a ripstop sort of nylon look, uh, as well as the ankle collar, and that's a slightly darker green. Uh, just the, the normal New Balance 580 on the tongue, um, and I'm pretty sure the detailing on the New Balance logo and the ankle, uh, the heel, so, sorry, um, are reflective. Um, and the outsole is, is a mixture of those two shades of green. Midsole is obviously a lighter green. And on the insole we have that same contour map sort of pattern um, as we saw on the outside of the box with the New Balance and Hype Beast branding. But this is definitely my favorite out of the two. I don't know, I just really like that color of green, the little details in, detail, details in, because I can speak really good English. Um, and I really like the, the shades and the mix of materials and different things. So yeah, really cool shoe. Um, so let's have a look at the second pair. Okay, so here we have the second pair, which is space inspired. On the middle of the box, we can see the New Balance and Hype Beast branding, uh, and we can see like little star sort of details uh, across um, the different parts of the box. Really cool. Uh, this one is sort of less transparent, but you can still sort of see the little midsole shining through the white midsoles. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. And if you're interested, uh, the rest of the box looks like this. And just sort of like a black box and it's got a divider in the middle to hold the shoes in uh, and it does have like a cool little sort of velvet sort of finish which is quite nice but yeah that's the rest of the box um, so let's look at this shoe in detail again second pair box that just slides off and inside we have the shoes again with the matching black tissue paper again two sets of laces um, one set of black flat laces which it currently has in and then another set of black rope laces uh, this pair is slightly different, obviously being a re-engineered pair, it has the sock and a liner, which fits really comfortably. If you haven't tried a pair on, you've got to get a pair on your feet. Uh, this is a, a much simpler pair, and the materials are quite consistent throughout, um, except for the sort of the, the heel wrap. It's sort of like a smooth, I don't know, it's not quite like a, I don't even know what it is, but it's cool. Uh, and the outsole is sort of almost got like a bit of a translucent, translucent, a translucent, Wow, translucent, it's sort of see-through, if you know what I mean. Uh, and the upper it consists of um, sort of that, that black um, re-engineered sort of seamless material um, with obviously the embossed logo and details and things like that. 
um, and the upper consists of it's like a like sort of that star pattern throughout. Unsure as of yet if these are glow in the dark or not. Maybe somebody can confirm for me, or I'll turn the lights off and see what happens. Um, but we will have a closer look at both pairs in a minute. I'll sort of bring them close up to the camera, and you can see the details. But also a really nice pair. Love the fact that they did one re-engineered, one not re-engineered. I mean, it's sort of like a theme New Balance is going for blending the, the past with the future which is cool and the earth and space theme are great as well um, so yeah these two hypebeast pairs are killer really nice pairs um, and as i said i'll bring them up close in a minute for you to check that out Well guys, there you have it. That is the New Balance and Hypebeast collaboration. Um, it is set to release, from what I understand, on Hypebeast.com on the 6th of August, which is next month, and then globally on the 13th of August. Um, from what I understand, the packaging will not be this double box pack. Uh, that is for seated pairs only, which I'm super privileged and stoked to have. Um, if you're buying them, you would have to buy them separately, so buy each pair. And the Hypebeast release, I think, will have the special packaging, from what I understand. Um, but the global release, I am unsure of at the moment. Um, but stay tuned to my social media. If you follow me on Snapchat, check that out. I'll be posting sort of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, and also keep a link on my Instagram. I'll be posting up photos and that kind of thing. And check out my website as well. In the next couple of days, I'll have a full uh, blog post with detailed photos and all that kind of thing. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed my video. Uh, I'm pumped about this pack. I think it looks amazing. Uh, let me know what you think. Which pair do you like more? Um, chuck it up in the comments. I'd love to know what people are feeling. Um, I think both pairs are awesome. But for me, I'm leaning towards the green pair. I don't know. I just really like the shade, the color, the mix of materials. It's a great pair. Hopefully you enjoyed the, the, the close-up look. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.